I love painting elephants and today I'm going to show you how I go about drawing uh, these elephants. A lot of people think that they have to paint their elephants grey. Well, of course, this is not true. I always find the centre mark of the uh, photograph and also then make a centre mark on my paper. And I draw using 100% the negative spaces. So you'll see me now drawing the legs by drawing the gaps between the legs. And I just find this gives you a far more accurate uh, drawing. So I've done the big elephant and now working across and doing a bit of the detail on his face or her face, popping the babies back in and then looking at the spaces between the legs to actually draw the little animal in. Bit of detail moving across and um, it's all about those spaces between the animals that will get you there. So popping a few ears in, having a look at the legs. Now the smallest elephant, drawing that in the front and uh, just trying to get the proportions right. Their legs are more or less the same length as the, um, the back to the tummy. So don't give them legs that are too long or too short. They just look very strange. A little bit of measuring needs to go on. Pop your details in last of all. These elephants are going to be very brightly coloured and I'm going to be using some of the Derwent product. I'm working on a Derwent watercolour paper. I like to wet the paper first before I go. Picking up a few art bars, which is watercolour product. Uh, beautiful colours to work with. I'm also working with the Ink Tense Blocks. And I'm going to be using a new product, which is called a spritzer and a sprinkler. And so you can see me grating the paint and allowing the paint to run into each other. And I know you don't get purple and pink elephants, but I'm an artist, so um, I like bright colours and I get to work with bright colours. It's more about putting the dark where the dark belongs and allowing the light to just be where it is. I'm also going to use another one of the Derwent products, <clears throat> which is the Derwent um, water-soluble uh, pencils. Uh, these are fabulous to work with. You'll get a list of the products off my website and a link to where you can actually purchase these. They're beautiful to work with. Putting the darks where I want the darks to go and just allowing the white to remain as it is. So I'm using a watercolour painting technique, although I'm using quite a few different products on this painting. I'm sure none of you have seen a blue elephant, but hopefully it'll work. I do like experimenting with colour. And I think if you've got a painting on your wall, you've got to enjoy it. Here comes a pink baby elephant. Trying to do the water reflections. So first putting some water down and then allowing the paint above it to dry into it and drop into it. I'm using ink, the De La Rani uh, System 3 inks. Putting a bit of yellow, a bit of orange in, complementary colours to those cold colours that I've used below. and dropping a bit of reflection in, using some dry ink tense blocks just to do the muddy banks and a few trees in the background, using a palette knife just to give me a bit of texture, and a few watercolour pencils, and there's your painting. It's got to dry of course, it looks um, different when it's wet to when it's dry, but I hope you have a go. Just get out a few products and um, do a nice, a nice drawing. I rescue any mistakes with white ink. So this is a De La Rani ink and I drop it straight onto the painting using a flat brush and just working the paint back into the colours underneath. A few little details with a water soluble pencil here and there. And don't overwork your painting. Allow the painting to be fresh. I hope you enjoy painting this one.